In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by the peaceful rule, by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel came in a body to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Now that you are old and your sons do not follow your example, appoint a king over us, as other nations have, to judge us. Samuel was displeased when they asked for a king to judge them. He prayed to the Lord, however, who said in answer, Grant the people's every request. It is not you they reject. They are rejecting me as their king. Samuel delivered the message of the Lord in full to those who are asking him for a king. He told them, The rights of the king who will rule you will be as follows. He will take your sons and assign them to his chariots and horses, and they will run before his chariot. He will also appoint from among them his commanders of groups of a thousand and of a hundred soldiers. He will set them to do his plowing and his harvesting and to make his implements of war and the equipment for his chariots. He will use your daughters as ointment makers, as cooks and as bakers. He will take the best of your fields, vineyards and olive groves and give them to his officials. He will tithe your crops and your vineyards and give the revenue to his eunuchs and his slaves. He will take your male and female servants as well as your best oxen and your asses and use them to do his work. He will tithe your flocks and you yourselves will become his slaves. When this takes place, you will complain against the king whom you have chosen. But on that day, the Lord will not answer you. The people, however, refused to listen to Samuel's warning and said, Not so. There must be a king over us. We too must be like other nations, with a king to rule us and to lead us in warfare and fight our battles. When Samuel had listened to all the people had to say, he repeated it to the Lord, who then said to him, Grant their request and appoint a king to rule them. The word of the Lord. The response, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. For you are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. For, For everyone I, I sing the goodness of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. 
many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, pick up your mat, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has the authority to forgive sins on earth, he then said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, these two readings are just too good to be true. <clears throat> um, so much, so much there to share and upon which to reflect. Um, first of all, just a quickie on Samuel. Uh, it, be careful what you pray for. That's basically the the message. That can be careful what you pray for. You want a king. You want a king. Even when Samuel tells them what that's going to mean, how that's going to trans for their whole life over in so many ways, they still push forward. They don't want to hear that it will carry with it so many negative results. But the thing I like most about the second reading, the gospel, is something that probably everybody missed because we're listening to the whole story and not the details. And this is the detail that is really important. Uh, it says that when Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, child, your sins are forgiven. Their faith, the faith of the four men who were, or four people who were lowering him down is what Jesus responds to. Now, normally, we hear Jesus respond to the faith of the individual, whether it's a blind person or a leper who says, I do believe that you can heal me. I do wish that you will let me see. In this case, it was the faith of the others who were supporting this person and lowering this person into the presence of the Lord. Now, he probably had faith too, but we come to understand from this the importance of intercessory prayer, the importance of us having faith on behalf of somebody else. Whether that person does or not, when we lift them up in prayer, when we lift them up to the Lord, or in this case, lower them down to the Lord, it is our faith that can bring them strength and healing, fortitude, joy and peace in the midst of their lives so we consider we continue to intercede we continue to pray for others especially those whose faith is weak and are unable to pray for themselves may our prayers be the source of faith that brings strength and healing to others let us stand to pray for the church, that it would grow in holiness through the leadership of Pope Francis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our nation, that it would bow itself and begin to follow the call of the Lord for reconciliation and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are sick, that they may be strengthened in body, mind, and spirit, all those for whom we intercede, 
and carry in our hearts every time we pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, the members of our family and our parish, and all those who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray uh, today for Maureen Dygan for her complete healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For whom else shall we pray? And Michael Mary. Melanger, who is uh, battling the flu, the regular flu, and uh, he's really battling it, so I'm praying for him. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for Mary, too, that everything turns out okay. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> Loving and gracious God, hear and answer these and all of our prayers which we ask in faith through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, be God God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered in your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you, extol you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Yes. peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Have a good day, all. You too, Father. Yes, we can do. Oops. Oops. How long